Adopt, and you can see we have ourselves a doggy with the name of Bacon. There's a doggy. There he goes, all the way over here. Straight up gets tackled, and boom, four thousand plus bounty. So Man City just got updated, they added some uh, new dog stuff as you can see over here and I, I believe they changed a few other things as well. We're gonna go ahead and go take a look around the map and see what exactly they changed. But obviously the first thing that we should take a look at is the new dog system, alright? So you know how before in the last update the uh, dog house was just like one little dog house here for one dog. And the only thing you could really do is press E and adopt the dog. Well now that has completely changed. So what you can do come over here and customize the dog but I believe in order to customize the dog you have to come over here to the main mad city page and then come to the store and buy what's called a pet plus game pass and basically you get the uh, access to uh, three new toys over here which are uh, the ball the frisbee and the pong which I have no idea what exactly the pong is but who knows okay it doesn't really matter anyway that basically allows you to like select your dogs the color it can be like a, a brown dog like the regular one a gray white black or tan one all of that doesn't really matter you can customize its collar and give it a name as well so obviously we're gonna go ahead and give his name with bacon and uh, let's go ahead and give him uh, let's be a black dog with a red collar adopt and you can see we have ourselves a doggy with the name of bacon as black fur color and a red collar okay so yeah that's basically the uh, naming system and I believe if I come over here I can like uh, redo it as well and there I get like a, a gray dog with a pink collar and you can also do like a tan dog with a red collar something like that you can do all sorts of funny combinations I'll make like the randomest one of them all what happens if I do this the dog doesn't have a collar okay then what about uh, the other way around uh, th this way <laughs> the dog doesn't have a leash a collar a harness whatever look at it it's completely just fur there's no harness or anything okay how is this even legal I have no idea but you know what let's go ahead and come over here and like the treat I believe it still works just like the normal one you can just toss a treat over there and uh, the dog picks it up and we also have ourselves like a ball. So I believe the ball will actually go very, very far away. And you can see there, boom, just like that. Dog goes and collects the uh, ball and uh, brings it back to you. And you get the ball back. Okay, now let's try out the frisbee, all right? So here we go. Got ourselves a frisbee. And let's go ahead and just uh, toss it all the way. Whoa. Holy cow. That was far. All right, doggy, go ahead and bring the frisbee back to me. All right, here we go. Got myself a frisbee, and now we try out the very last tool over here. Okay, I believe that guy over there is trying to get a dog, and we're going to see if the other dog's, like, uh, affected with the uh, toys or anything like that as well. So there we go, we got the Pong, and you can see that his dog also went after it. Okay, so now if I come over here and throw the Pong this way, whoa, the other dog just stole it, and I lost my Pong. Not cool, all right? That's actually kind of like considered theft. Okay, this guy should give me back my Pong or else, uh, yeah. Okay, he just tossed a Pong. Did my, oh, my dog caught it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. My dog just returned the Pong from the other dog. Okay, but anyway, you can go ahead and throw it over there. And it also distracts other uh, dogs. So I'm pretty sure if a criminal comes over here and grabs this thing, then it should make it so that, like, uh, you know, the dog goes after that thing and the criminal can get into a vehicle and escape and all that good stuff, right? So now we should probably put uh, this uh, dog to a practical test. So that means going around the city, arresting people, and, uh, okay, looks like the casino's wide open. Same with the bank. We're gonna run into the stores, have a dog, and see how the dog reacts to the criminals. If there's any changes, that's when we're gonna find out. Okay, so first stop, we're gonna go ahead and just to come on, whoa. Somebody's in a vehicle over here right beside the bank, okay? Let's go ahead and uh, that is a Thunderbird or something, am I right? Yeah, it looks like a Thunderbird, but it could be a Mustang or something else. All right, what's this guy gonna do? Oh, he's gonna just jump out right here. Now, where's my doggy? Where's the doggy? Come on, doggy. Doggy's over here already attacking. Bye-bye. This guy is toast. This guy is bye-bye now, all right? And this guy over here, no, 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 no. Doggy attacked him. The doggy still attacks like usual, okay? Except, like, this time now the dog's just a different color. You can kind of see his, like, a collar here in the middle. But, you know, like, it's all black dog. And it basically hides everything else. Okay, that means should be very camouflaged with the road, especially from far away. And that would kind of get criminals by surprise if they have, like, a lower quality monitor or something like that. I can't quite display the contrast. But anyway, now we can go ahead and, uh, okay, casino's wide open. Let's check if there's any criminals over here, because there's usually a lot of people here. And I can go ahead and just uh, come on right over here just like that, and there's a doggy. There he goes, all the way over here, straight up gets tackled, and boom. 
4,000 plus bounty. What do you think you were doing? Uh, Kana A. Kanaki. Okay, whoever that is. Alright, we've got a bacon air criminal here. And, uh, can we go ahead and come on over here back into the, uh, Warhawk? Yes, we can. Here, a lot of gunfights by criminals over here. Let's go ahead and, uh, they're all camping. They're straight up all camping, alright? Let's go ahead and just start arresting these guys over here. Here's this dude. Okay, can we arrest him? Okay, there we go. 800. Alright. Or, oh. The dog flung her out of the base. Nice. Alright, what about this guy? This guy over here? Yeah. The dog can actually go under the car. That That's also pretty incredible, okay? I mean, just like running out underneath the car. Oh. Attacked right over here. Easy. Alright. Right as he was about to run inside, a dog came and attacked him. And he wasn't able to go inside and we could successfully arrest. Alright. And I hear an electricity hero somewhere. I think it's just that bacon here just like flying around down here. Yep, there he is. And is the casino open? Nope, casino just closed. And I believe we already arrested a lot of the people here. So, uh, yeah, we gotta find, um, actually the pyramid is under robbery. Let's go stop the pyramid. All right, here we go. Got a criminal right over here starting to run inside. And we got the doggy over here as well. Doggy, uh, cannot attack vehicles or, I mean, people inside of vehicles. Uh, can I get out from underneath the vehicle, please? Um, hello? Please let me go out of the vehicle. Alright, there we go. Okay, this guy's just straight up running. Doggy, chase him. Come on, doggy. Why is the doggy lagging? Why is doggy lagging? Alright, now he's not. Alright, can I come over here? Uh, can I bap him? Uh, nope, that kind of was too far. Uh, he's just straight up running. Okay, the dog is definitely much faster than the person. And come on, please attack. Please attack, doggy. You can do it. You got him. Please. Please, doggy. Okay, this is literally just a fight of person versus dog. I don't think this dog in the- Oh, dog got on the bridge. No. Doggy, off the bridge. Doggy, get off the bridge and attack the criminal. Alright, you gotta come over here and attack him. We're literally just chasing this man, like, through the middle of the street. And, uh, finally, I have to come over here and grab him. Because the doggy- Okay, there we go. Doggy finally came and got him as well, okay? And he's like that, just squirming all over the floor, going back to prison. Nothing good comes out of, like, robbing some stores in the city, okay? Now we should probably head back over to where the pyramid is and actually, uh, bust the person that's robbing the pyramid. Alright, so here we go. Now we're going through the pyramid, the hardest part of the obby. I made it through the easy ones. Alright, those are fairly simple. This is probably the most hardest one because it's just so random. Let's see if there's anybody that actually survived the pyramid. I highly doubt that considering the 99% um, of the people here die inside. But let's take a look. Okay, oh, okay, that ball was not good. And turns out, everybody just went oof inside of this pyramid. Okay, that's not cool, okay? I really wish the robberies were like jailbreak and close right after you go oof. Okay, we're the last person inside does. Alright, but anyway, now we can go ahead and come back over here. I hear a lot of fighting. And there is a cop in the helicopter. So, it's probably a good time to go ahead and switch over to the prisoner team and try to get some of those dog treats and distract other police dogs, okay? Alright, so I got myself a spoon over here. We're gonna go ahead and start escaping this prison, okay? And I do see a lot of police officers over there probably holding out their dogs as well, okay? That is not good. All we gotta do now is come over here, crouch. Can we- Oh! Let's grab, uh, I think the ball will work the best. Okay, so I got myself a ball here. And this way, if any police dog comes and attacks me, I got a ball so that I can escape. Alright, I hear a lot of gunfights over here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, just to come outside, I don't see any police officers with dogs. That's a good sign. Alright, now all we need to do is get into a Warhawk and fly to the city. Alright, dog has over here. There's, there's a dog. Come on, doggy. Doggy, go get the ball. Go get the ball, doggy. Get the ball. There. The dog went for the ball, not me. Perfect. Alright, shoot. They're shooting. The police officers have shotguns. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Okay, let's let's hide. Hide. Hide over here. Alright. There's a warhawk. It's down. Okay, okay, come on. He let me heal. Let me heal. Please heal me. Please heal me. Okay, I'm slowly healing. Okay, the dog got distracted by the ball. That is perfect. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so whatever the developer said about the dogs, um, uh, you know, getting distracted, that is confirmed true. We just managed to get the other dog over there away from us using the ball, okay? But sadly, the ball is a one-time use thing because it makes the, uh, you know, the, the ball go to the dog's owner instead of you. So anyway, okay, we got a hero here. Let's go ahead, get this thing, and shoot this guy down. I kind of want his crystal. Bacon, what you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got a pistol. And, and uh, yeah, we got some other stuff as well. 
go ahead and trade it out for a deagle and uh, all these uh, other uh, shotguns and grenades and a bat as well that is good finally we can go rob some stores so the new robbery time is actually making a difference the bank's already open again we kind of you know whenever we were at the police area when we played as a cop then that was whenever we the bank robbery ended so yeah definitely like a uh, much faster now some criminal already started a robbery here so we can go ahead come on right over here use their superhero ability and just straight up fly all the way over here now the only thing is we can't really distract any more dogs since we don't have any of the dog treats uh, but uh, it shouldn't really be a bit that big of an issue. We can just uh, chill around here, spin in circles, get ourselves our bank money. So none of the maximum cash you get from robberies have actually changed. Because basically playing the game is still going to be like normal. And uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and... Okay, there's a hero over here. Let's go ahead and take out this hero. Heroes can't have dogs. That's actually a good thing, okay? That means we can go ahead and just come on over here without worrying that any canine people are going to come and try to, uh, you know, attack us. Because the dogs kind of are a bit OP still, okay? They haven't really nerfed their speed maybe they did nerf it a little bit but we just haven't really noticed yet but anyway now we can go ahead and come over here back to the criminal base none of the robbery stuff has really changed on this update and uh, yeah i believe the only new thing in this update was the uh, dog customization so you can make your dog look however you want and also give the dog's name since last time was like the beginning of the dogs it was like a very very basic stuff all right bacon arrow with the uh electricity package over here yeah no you're not gonna come and defeat me okay bad bacon hair there we go he is now done for and now it's about time we go rob the jewelry store should be our final robbery for this server okay actually the nightclub opened as well okay there's a criminal over here with the uh, firepower ability so i'm pretty sure like last time the uh, dogs are unable to go into the jewelry store so that's actually a very good advantage for us we can just uh you know go through and rob it real quick and then like fly back outside okay the other guy over there is a uh flash hero all right so uh, robbing this thing with this package is definitely still kind of crappy just like usual nothing changed with the hitboxes here anyway let's just uh, keep on punching this stuff get ourselves 10 dollars in cash and get out of here all right now we have ourselves 10 dollars in cash we can go ahead and just to come on over here fly outside there's really no police officers in here so it's not really the best server to test out the uh, dogs but anyway let's go ahead and just finish up this uh, jewelry store robbery and then we can wrap it up all right so uh, basically same thing as usual we go to the uh, criminal base go turn it in Please don't get stuck in the ground. Okay, at least the Warhog landing gears don't get stuck in the ground now. Okay, let's go ahead. Just come all the way over here to the criminal base. And here we go. Now we can go ahead and just uh, jump down. Come on right over here and go turn in our money. And because it's a public server, all of this stuff will still save. There's no cheating on here. Okay, no cheating police officers and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do more of that cheating stuff. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to press like, comment, subscribe, and check out the merch, Discord, everything. Links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time.